Another week, another status report highlight, this time for the week of the 19th of July 2016. And this week, Creative Director gives a status update on where we are with our hotfixes, as well as our 6-1 milestone goals, and Victor, our lead animator, talks a bit about the new animation system. So let's start things off with Creative Director, Brian Higgs. Today we're going to take a quick look at the status of hotfixes for Stable Branch, and talk a bit about where we are with development of 061 milestone goals. And the hotfixes for Stable Branch are Character Gear Loss on Reconnect, Hotfix to Stable, Tent Lifetime Refresh, Hotfix to Stable, Tent Position and Orientation, Hotfix to Stable, Vehicle Position Orientation is in testing, and Animation Sync Issues are still in testing. Now let's move on to the 061 milestone goals. Server login queue. Technology supporting this has been merged in and is in testing with internal QA. The UI element notifies users of position in queue. As of the current status report, there are only minor bugs remaining, and it will need further QA to be certain. And of course, plenty of experimental testing. Merge of new audio technology from ARMA 3 Eden update. Technology successfully merged into DAISY branch. Configuration testing on existing audio configs underway. Update of weapon sounds for new audio technology. Nine weapons are ready. Work continues on remaining firearms. YouTube channel devlog preview upcoming. Not of the full list, as some still require a little polish. But we can expect a video previewing some of the new sounds for these weapons on the official Daisy YouTube channel, and I will also highlight it here as well for the SKS, Sporter, Trumpet, Repeater, AKM, AUG, The Fowl, SVD, and MP5K. Dynamic spawning of infected. Technology implemented into main internal branch. Basic area configuration is set up. Restock timer currently disabled for testing. Programmers currently working on per player configuration support. And the juicy meat on the bone, predators or wolves. Predator AI sync working properly in offline mode. Synchronization issues are present in network play. Triage is currently isolating these issues to legacy animation system. Programming, design and animation teams are focused on investigating risk and cost effectiveness of fixing legacy animation sync issues for predators, or focusing on pushing animals operating with proper support on new animation system. In recent days and weeks, there were many discussions about the new player controller where we talked about camera, aiming, IK, combat, controls and other related features. Although it is coming together quite nicely, we are still missing some major things like climbing ladders or overcoming obstacles, i.e. climbing fences anyone? On the other hand, there are much more animations for wounded character. While new features are being added, we are polishing the existing ones in the player graph and the animation itself are being adjusted less or more. Many items have been moved from the graph to a new layer of config, which gives us a great way to quickly iterate changes in the character behavior and most importantly, the animation graph doesn't have to solve unnecessary logic like in the old animation system. Also, we are finishing the first phase of extended animation sets for guns. At the moment, almost all of the existing firearms have chambering animations and updated magazine reloads. At the same time, we have started working on another pass by adding jamming, unjamming animations. There will be one for each gun. Each animation is divided into three parts within, loop and out, to give our designers better control over unjamming process. Victor thinks it will be a great addition and an interesting game mechanic. That's all for this week's status report highlight for the 19th of July 2016. As always, all links are in the description below. Remember to hit that like button as it helps the channel out a lot. And I'll see you peeps next time.